Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review. So today we will be reviewing The 13th Warrior, which was released in 1999. It's reviewed in 2006 in April. Gave this movie a rating of a 3. The 13th Warrior has a somewhat nice cinematography, benefiting from the realistic, gruff-looking Norwegian style in order to be believable flick. And that's pretty much it for this brave heart wannabe. <laughs> there isn't a story going on. It's just a rip off of Beowulf. Unfortunately, the problem is that John McTiernan had lost the touch that he once had in Predator and Die Hard. His distinctive feel isn't just the same in The 13th Warrior. Take a quick look at the poster, Antonio Banderas. I mean, it was a pretty cool looking poster, but, um, uh, when the movie's a ripoff, it's not really, it's not really unique, it's not really something that, um, it's going to be memorable, especially if it's just a recreation of another movie. I was hoping for action and exhilarating moments, but no. All I got from the film were 12 characters whom I had no idea who they were. Showing off his good looks in the 13th Warrior, Antonio Banderas has two facial expressions, looking for words to express and feign disbelief. That's not a great range for somebody who wants to be taken seriously as a big time actor. All in all, the 13th Warrior starts off well, gets on a boring ride, and then finishes pathetically in a who cares way. Once again, if you're just, uh, looking for an empty movie with nothing really um, unique about it nothing unique to its name go ahead and check out The 13th Warrior and see a re poor recreation of Braveheart alright thank you so much for watching I appreciate it please turn into my other movie reviews bye bye